Galloway. So this is the Galloway Peninsula, or headland, or whatever you call it. <clears throat> uh, just sailing north to get up to the top near Strand Ra for tonight. I've got 33 nautical miles to do. Uh, there is um, three knots of wind. It's right up my nose. So I'm not going to get anywhere fast by sail. I've tried, but uh, I got the main sail up, so I might get a little bit of pull with that. But um, I tried with the foresail, and uh, nah, it's just flopping around. It's beautiful here, absolutely stunning. But it's good to be in Scotland. Finally here. How long has it been? God, um, when did I go out? May, June. So it's been a long, long haul. Some amazing sailing. Absolutely stunning sailing, stunning conditions. It's been a fantastic experience. Okay. The wind feels like it's picking up actually. Oh yeah, it is. Look at the water. That was smooth as a baby backside just now, but it's dribbling, so I'm gonna have a check out and see what's happening. <laughs> yeah, the wind has picked up. Yeah, it's um, uh, 4.6 knots now. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> Still on the nose. But never mind, I'm happy. I'm in Scotland. Can't do better than that, hey? I've even got the kilt on. Look, I don't know if you can see that. It's not a McFarlane kilt. I can't afford one of those. They're about um, 400, 500 quid. So this is a black watch kilt. that cost me 21 quid. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get a McFarlane kill eventually, of all the trimmings, but not at the moment. Yeah, we've got the mist creeping in as well, so it's going to be another misty sail by the looks of it. Oh, it looks fantastic. I thought just for a moment I'd turn everything off. The boat's not really going anywhere. There's about one knot of wind at the moment. That's right on the nose. It's been all over the place, the wind. Not that there's been much of it. And the sun's out. The water is almost mill pondish. Very peaceful, isn't it?
Well, that's the penultimate day of sailing before I get to my um, my new home port. It's a little bit misty, but Viz is pretty good by and large. Uh, plenty of it. This is um, behind me down there. That's actually a dead end. That's actually uh, Stranra. There's, um, down there, there's also a ferry terminal. So you do get the uh, the Belfast terminal uh, ferries coming up and down here. Uh, not that regularly, I don't think. Maybe one every hour or two hours or something. So the mist is coming and going a little bit thick and then thin, so I don't think it's going to be any problem. So what I need to do, I need to head over there, get across the uh, ferry channel onto the east side, and that'll put me in favour for travelling to the Isle of Arran. Well, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Actually, no, it's uh, ten, to, ten to eight in the morning. <laughs> Just left the anchorage. I'm in the Firth of Clyde. Glasgow is in that direction, behind the camera. And uh, the sun's out. The fog is all over there. I can still hear the ferry burping, burping, burping. burping. Yeah, I'll do. Burping his horn. He's still in fog. The fog is hugging the uh, Galloway headland. But on this side, it is glorious sunshine and it is all clear. Aaron, oops, I lost the phone. Aaron is over there, due north. But I'm trying to, uh, trying to follow the wind a little bit. So we've got on wings at the moment. I'll show you in a second. Got about seven or eight knots and the engine's off. Got 31 miles to go, so it's eight o'clock nearly. I got tons and tons of time. So I'm gonna do a bit of sailing, see how far I can get before time pressure kicks in. It is a glorious day. Beautiful day for sailing. And the wind's getting stronger as well later on, so oh that was neat. We saw a gannet dive into the water. No engine. There's that gannet, it just dived into the water. Sorry I missed that. Look at that, isn't that a beautiful thing? Even rigged up the little retainer as well. It's a lovely day. Over here, you're gonna find Troon. That's where my grandfather was born. And uh, Largs. I sailed out Largs, now I've sailed this area before. <clears throat> Many moons ago, back in the 90s, me and my best mate, uh, Doogie Walker. His dad was a retired submarine commander and uh, we hired a boat, or his dad hired a boat, and me and Doogie um, uh, were deckhands and we sailed out of Largs and uh, we went to the Isle of Arran and then we went to another smaller island just south of the Mullican Tire and then we sailed around the Mullican Tire and that, I remember that was amazing. It was just strong winds, we were cranking it over big time. Uh, it was on a uh, tiller, not a wheel, helm. And then we, we cranked up uh, past the Mullican tile. We eventually got up to the Crinan. We anchored outside Crinan, and then the two days we spent going down the Crinan Canal. And then we sailed back down the, uh, the inner locks. Uh, I just remember it fondly, just having a fabulous, fabulous time. And uh, I think that was one of my first big sailing experiences. Look at that, all that fog over the Galloway headland. And I was anchored somewhere in there. So I'm heading due north now. Normally you'd be able to see the Isle of Arran from this distance, but we'll get to see it soon enough. Now that I've, dire <laughs> now I've changed direction, would you know? I can see two boys, an orange and a green boy ahead of me, right in my line. <laughs> I think they call that Sailor's Sod's Law. Yeah, I can see some more ahead as well. I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm running a gauntlet here. 
this, <laughs> this must be um, Lobster Alley or something like that. So the mist is closed in quite a lot all around now. So we've probably got about 115 meters visibility. Um, I'm not across the shipping lane yet. I checked on a local website and uh, it said um, I think there's only one or two ships that have gone through. So and they're all early, so I think they've already gone. So I don't think there's any major issue about major ships coming through. Um, I'm waiting to come across an island which is in the middle of the Clyde Bay. It's kind of a marker. And beyond that it's about... They viz now maybe 100, yeah, probably still 100, 150 meters, so it's no major issue. I'm sailing at uh, four knots over ground. Uh, I'm just looking out for that little island, which I should be coming across shortly, actually. Yeah, according to all the systems I've got, that island is about 1.9 miles away. So we're visibility probably about a hundred meters now. Yeah, not a fat chance of seeing that at the moment. Well, there's the island, 50 meters away. Looks like a big bugger as well. <laughs> I don't know how tall she is, but she looks pretty tall. Look at that, it's even got a lighthouse on it. <clears throat> Non-functioning lighthouse. <laughs> the seals over there. There's a picture of the rock. She's big. Look at that. On the north side, completely fogged out. On the south side, uh, west side, sorry, completely clear. clear. So I'm in the clear spot at the moment. There's a huge fog bank over there. Moving in. And this is where I want to go, pretty much over here. Aaron is there somewhere. And the fog bank to my Right, my starboard. Look at that. She's a beauty. Look at the magnificent rock. She's a big one. Look at the mist crawling up her side. Look at that. Poetry. Look at this. So that's Aaron, I'm presuming buried underneath that cloud. <coughs> Otherwise you probably wouldn't know there's land there. And what was heavy duty fog 10 minutes ago is practically gone. Look at it, just glorious sunshine again. There's the island, buried. And I couldn't even see it. 